So it looks like your macro is a little bit better than mine, Greg. A little tiny. <laughs> I just got lucky killing the Italians. That's, that's all. Yeah, oh yeah, it's all luck. No skill at all, because Zerg's the easy race. Yep. This is where I would fall apart, having to split up. Sir. Now why Ultra? I guess because you don't have a Spire down already? Um, yeah, and the fact that he was going mech, yeah. it's just, I feel Ultras are better versus mech. Oh, he's not going mech, that's strange. What a jokester. Yeah, he was adding another factory and was going Hellion's pretty dedicated, I don't know. Strange. That's a situation where I feel like Neural Parasite pays off, because it cuts the tank numbers in half. Yeah. See some Overlord drop or some, I guess, Ultimus drop. Yeah, there's not really much else to do at this point.
Come back, Tank. Have you figured out how you're going to engage that yet? I'm just waiting for him to make a mistake. I have a way better economy. Eventually, I'll catch him unseaged. Batman. <laughs> they can be kind of good at times. When you have like three times as many of them. <laughs> Would you have? Yeah, exactly. 30 ultras against 10 marines. So damn scrappy, man. That guy just refuses to die sometimes. You're being incredibly patient right now, and I think that's very noteworthy. Because a lot of players, myself included, would probably be like, oh my god, I have to go attack right now. Uh, you know, I have to finish this game, I have to go win. Uh, mm -hmm. Why why, why slow playing him here? Uh, just because it's really, really easy to throw away an army, and my economy isn't actually very good at all. I only have the... Well, I guess I have two bases up now. But it's just a lot safer. If I lose all these ultras because I engage his tanks badly, I mean, it's off creep. It's really hard to... Oh, I have a bunch of ultras in there. But anyway, if I didn't attack, there was absolutely no way I could lose. If I did attack, there was a way to lose. So I chose not to attack until he exposed himself. Well, that was awesome game, man. Uh, it makes me so proud to see you... Uh playing my little build. I'm all grinny and stuff. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get uh, Jake on the call uh, real quick. No, I definitely have to figure out some of the timing stuff and make sure it's actually like safe and yep. workable against everything, but I think there's a lot of potential in it. I like it a lot. Sweet. You there, Jake? What's up? How are you, man? Uh, could have been better. <laughs> <laughs> I am so uh, sad that you just mercilessly smashed me three times in a row. I know. And then I got mercifully smashed. <laughs> I will, you know. Greg had yeah. to avenge the humiliating defeat you threw down upon his lowly student. I couldn't let you do that to my student. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> so, uh, g good games, though, man. I really, uh, that first one on metal, I thought I was going to get it, and, uh, I didn't add any gas past my first four, and I just couldn't build enough stuff. Uh, so you know, I just want to say that's the problem with Zerg. If you mess with one, they all come after you. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we're called the swarm. It's the swarm. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we got about uh, about 30 minutes. I'm not going to ask you guys to sit here and answer questions for half an hour, but I am going to take a few, uh, if that's cool right. with you both. Absolutely, yep, that's fine. My uh, first question I'm going to ask is uh, is from me to you, Jake. How do you feel about that last game? I I couldn't really figure out a way to like cut him off to where I could take top left expansion. Like mm -hmm. I need to shut off that expansion since I killed all the other ones. But there was like no way I could position my army to because he had creep on that entire side. It was so risky for me to ever go anywhere near that. Mm -hmm. And he controlled it, and I was kind of in the blind. 
the whole time. Yeah, yeah. But um, in general, you know, it was a good game in general. Uh, Greg, is there anything you could add to that, maybe from the Zerg perspective? Why well, did you, uh, maybe let me let me rephrase that. You know, what went right for you? Why did you win that game? Um, went right. Holding off all the harass early, making that many blue hellions quickly is a pretty big investment, especially when you're going to then switch into bio because it means you got to get up all the barracks and stuff afterwards. So holding that off without actually losing any drones put me very far ahead. And the one thing I really felt he could have done, the one thing that I was pretty afraid of actually, was just putting tanks up on those central ledges. Because even if I get lift, it's a pretty big deal to, or it's a big, big problem for Zerg to deal with them without mutas. Yeah. So I think putting tanks up on the cliffs, really turtling hard at the gold base, and just using that center control from those tanks to run little groups of bio around sniping my hatcheries yeah. is, uh, that would, I'm not entirely sure how I would deal with that. It would be very hard. Uh, before we kind of go into user questions, I have to ask you, uh, you know, I, I think Neural Parasite can really be applied playing this style. W would, you, would you reconsider your stance on it uh, if, as, if you're going to experiment further with that build? Yeah, I'm definitely going to try it and see. Uh, it, it was more effective than I would have expected uh, when you were stealing some of his tanks in the second and third game. So I'll definitely see. Cool. Cool, cool stuff. I'm going to go ahead and jump into some of these uh, questions. The uh, first one I was gonna, I'm going to ask is, uh, could you please talk a little bit about your mouse settings? I wonder what uh, what settings you use both in Windows and StarCraft II. Is, are, are your mouse settings something that are super duper important to you? Uh, let's start with you, Greg. Yeah, um, yeah, it's just absolutely huge. Your mouse has to be exactly the right sensitivity or it throws you way off. It's something that's really annoying about LANs. But actually, I use uh, SteelSeries stuff now, including the drivers. And it actually has something where it install the mouse stores your driver settings on it, and when you plug it in, it, it just automatically installs it for you and overrides any system settings or anything. So that's a big help. Uh, yeah, I use the Steel Series drivers, and I think I have it on 2.3. Mm -hmm. um, 2.3, and let's let me actually open up the window. I guess for folks listening, maybe maybe 2.3 might not be the most telling indicator. Uh, would you just say you play on? 